Hey guys, good morning, how are you? So uh, here I am on the simulator again. So I want to show you something that I've done here. Actually, what I have is the, uh, I'm doing a flight from uh, uh, Cartwright, uh, Newfoundland up in Labrador in Canada to Greenland across the ocean. So it's going to take about three and a half hours. I'm flying the Diamond 42. We're going to be flying over to Narsarswak up in Greenland. And also what I have, I have installed FSX uh, flight, which actually becomes a AHARS and GPS device for my four flight, which is great. All right. Uh, now there's a couple things that you need for that uh, in order to activate it. Part of the add-on is the FSU IPC, which costs about 20 bucks. If we go to the devices, um, without really doing much other than just enabling it, the system finds it automatically. If you are on the same Wi-Fi network, you have to be on the same Wi-Fi network, then it will actually find it. And as you can see, FSX Flight is there. I have enabled it. Uh, so you have to make sure that it's enabled and then automatically picks up the data, the AHARS information, also the GPS information from your uh, flight simulator which is uh, a great way to see exactly where you are, plus it gives you uh, an actual um, little setup, okay, which is good, uh, especially for long flights. If you're living the flight simulator, run an autopilot, you want to do something else, you just bring this with you, you kind of monitor things, see what's going on. So, um, I mean, as long as you're within the same network, of course, you know, it wouldn't work you know, outside this network. But anyway, this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm about to start up right now, and I'm just going to go through the sequence of uh, getting the airplane started. And I'm not using the track uh, IR clip today, just because just to make it a little, uh, uh, just a little simpler. I just sometimes uh, I don't have time for all that. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started here and uh, turn on the left master. Of course, I would be checking all kinds of voltage and all kinds of things on the real airplane right now, but uh, it's okay. Oops, wrong. There we go. Started. <laughs> Let's make sure that my controls are working. Yep, they are. Let's just go ahead and start uh, engine number two. Uh, that's on. And there we go. Right click. And it's going. And the Onyx Master. We do a button. And my flight plan is already in there. Let's zoom it in a little bit. Yep, car tried to Sasakwak, or whatever the name is. Okay, and uh, all right, I'm about to get started here, so just, uh, uh, stay tuned, guys. All right, all right, we just got started here, so I'm gonna, I'm about to pick up my IFR clearance. I'm gonna get you a little bit closer to the action here. I hope you can see okay. Uh, okay, good. So I'm just gonna request my IFR clearance. Cessna trim wheel by SciTech. It's a great device for realism or as real pilot that helps a lot. Okay. Thank you. 
from their Denver Center. Scott like them. Hey guys, what's up? So uh, we're flying here the DA42 TDI uh, from uh, Cartwright uh, Labrador up in uh, northern Canada to Greenland. And uh, we have another 3 hours 20 minutes to go. And as you can see, um, we get all the nice AHARs and uh, GPS info directly from the FSX flight uh, software, which is uh, uh, coupled with the uh, uh, flight simulator and uh, that provides the AHARS data which of course I can disable if I want to and put it back in here and also accurate GPS where I can actually he thinks that that's actually my uh, GPS so anyway uh, looks like our time decreased a little we got a nice little bit of a tailwind all of a sudden so we're down to 309 our ground speed is about um, oh, about 154 um, so we're flying close to 7,000 feet. It's looking pretty good. All right.